All right, the Yamaguchi esterification is a useful way for making esters, and it's particularly popular for lactones and can be used even for large ring lactones. There are quite a lot of natural products which have quite large rings, 14 membered rings, and things like that. <coughs> and particularly before olefin metathesis made uh, synthesis of those rings a bit easier. Now, this was a very popular way to make those big ring lactones. So if we have uh, something like this, uh, well actually let me first explain the, the principle of it. <coughs> the, um, If you take uh, toluene and uh, chlorinate it three times, you get 246 toluene, which you can oxidize to uh, 246 trichlorobenzoic acid. So this, uh, this is uh, quite easily available. And if you make the acid chloride of um, the 246 trichlorobenzoic uh, acid, uh, you can use that to make mixed anhydrides. So, um, um, showing this for um, making a lactone, and, and what I'm doing is I'm using a long, this is a long chain um, that has an OH at one end and a carboxylic acid at the other. Now we could use our old friend DMAP, or uh, I think in the original work it was, um, no actually, uh, I guess they usually do use triathlete uh, to make the mixed anhydride. And what's going to happen, um, under these conditions, this will deprotonate here. Uh, remember, this is a lot more acidic than this. It'll form the O minus, and that will do a substitution uh, on the acid chloride and give us Please forgive me that I've switched this around. Uh, so now the OH is a, a right hand end. So now we have, uh, this is a mixed anhydride. Now if I, uh, now heat this up with DMAP, Alcohol and an anhydride. And we just saw what an alcohol and an anhydride do in the presence of DMAP. That was in the acetylation reaction I just covered. Uh, so you get an ester formed. Only this time the alcohol is attached to the anhydride. So we'll get. get this byproduct which is very stable, 246-trichlorobenzoate is a very good leaving group and so we're left with the lactone. Okay.
Uh, now, you may wonder why 246 trichlorobenzoate, why not 245 trichlorobenzoate, or why not just benzoate? Um, what I think this is, is it's, it's one of these Goldilocks ideas where you get it. <coughs> you want the right balance of reactivity, and <coughs> if you were to use, say, a trifluoroacetate mixed anhydride, that would be too reactive. Um, but if you just use benzoate, um, maybe the reaction might be a bit slow. Um, the 246 trichlorobenzoate, as I said earlier, is <coughs> actually quite cheap to make, and this has the right balance of reactivity. These three chlorines are um, inductively withdrawing, they're uh, electronegative, so uh, this, uh, the carboxylic acid of this is a little more acidic than a simple benzoic acid. And that makes this, therefore, a better leaving group than simple benzoate. Okay, um, the other thing I would like to cover in this section is um, peptide coupling reagents, which are also uh, useful um, for acylations to make amides.